Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics explaining a few details about LibreOffice Writer, the word processor that comes with Ubuntu. I have got a file up on screen right now and the text is very small and I'm going to enlarge the text so that you can see it better. And one way I can do that is to go Control Alt 5 and that makes the whole thing bigger but it doesn't enlarge the font. The way you can enlarge the font is to go up to view and I'm in web layout view that does not show the headers. Print layout view above it will show the headers. Web layout view uh, is characterized by having reflow like an EPUB. When I make the screen bigger when I make the window bigger or smaller each line of text will compensate and not run off the edge. I am now going to go down to zoom and in zoom we are showing it at a hundred percent. Well I'm going to change that to variable and I'm going to change that one in the hundred to two and that's going to make the text bigger and it's easier to see. Now when I go control alt 4 building a half screen window you can see how it reflows and each time you hit control alt 4 it still reflows it's a very nice system now if I want to change a paragraph to be double spaced I can do this one paragraph at a time by going up to format paragraph and I'm going to go to indents and spacing and I'm going to change single to double and when I hit OK that single paragraph and that paragraph only is double space the rest of the file is still single space I could repeatedly go through each paragraph and repeat that same procedure but since that's laborious and time-consuming there is a way where you can do this to the entire document you go up to this icon right here in the corner right click it after it opens the styles right click default modify and and the very same window comes up it looks the same but you got to it in a different place and now when I hit double and hit OK. Now the entire document has changed and every single line is double spaced. Now that is only anything that says default. If you go to the very top you've got a title no doubt or a heading and what have I got right here? Well this says default. I would like to have this as the title so I'm going to go open this up and it says more let's see if I can get more I don't see it uh, it says automatic let's get all styles and now I'm gonna go down until I find title there are so many things available that it's just overwhelming Aha, I see title. I just turned that into the title. Now, when I go down to the next line, that says default. Now, if I don't like what this looks like, it's it says here that it's 18 size and it looks to me like it's bold. Again, you can change the titles by going up here tapping right click modify and if you want to you can you can change any and all of these things around I like everything pretty much the same and let's see what kind of font well I'm using the same font but it says bold I'm gonna go regular and I'm gonna go back to 12 and hit OK and close. Well, what's the difference? This says title and this says default. Well, the difference is is that if you do convert this into an EPUB, it's going to treat this one line as a title. And 
you can of course center anything you want to I'm on line 2 and I'm centering I'm on line 3 and I'm centering I'm centering but the centering doesn't look right what the heck is going on well it, it doesn't look right because uh, on this paragraph that I'm on when I go to it it says that it's indented a half inch on the first line and if you change that now it centers a little bit differently and you can goof with this but remember there's a difference between formatting up here that treats one line and formatting here that treats the entire document on the style you're in. Now, at risk of losing this file and screwing up the video, I'm going to change the view. And I'm going to change the view to print layout. But before doing so, I'm going to hit 100 again. That seems to be, oh, I don't know, a little bit more cushion. See how it gets too small to really read? And now I go back up here to view and I'm going to hit print layout. Yeah, it worked. I've got print layout and every page is now going to show a header. And you can see how the uh, margins are very large. That may seem disagreeable to you. Well, if so, again, go back up here. Now stay in print layout. In other words, keep the header. But this time when you go to zoom, you go to optimal, and that gets rid of the margins. Now, in this case, the print is larger. It looks nice. But when you go control alt 4, it, it goes to different window sizes. But each time it does so, it does not readjust the line length. The line length stays the same. What it does is it readjusts the font. I'm going to hit it one more time. That's really too small to see. And then if I go Control Alt 5, whole page. Well, that is pretty much what I got on this video. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube called Ubuntu Basics. This, I realize, is actually more to do with LibreOffice Writer than Ubuntu in general. I thank you very much. My name is Pop.